all right guys welcome back to the mountain well i'm finally over covid and got my energy back and i am ready to start a project so first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and crank up uber go ahead and start letting it get warmed up Woo, uber ain't been ran in a minute uh, i'm sure she's ready to get some work done what we're gonna do today is we're gonna start on the pump house I'm going to go ahead and pull Uber over here by the door, grab a shovel, and I'm going to start shoveling out some of the rock that's in there because I've decided that I'm going to put pavers halfway inside the pump house, make a temporary kitchen inside the pump house for this winter so I don't have to go in the cabin to cook every single night, especially whenever we have all of that snow. So we're going to go ahead and take all of this rock out all the way up to the well right there. Domino has been messing with the insulation there, so I'm going to have to get all of that cleared out. Take a shovel, clear it all the way out there. Use the same pavers that we used on the patio well shed build and go ahead and get a nice solid platform to be able to put the shelves on and also for me to be able to stand on why I'm, uh, why I'm cooking and preparing food out here in the tiny house we're also going to go ahead and start burning the plywood that's going to go on the walls to cover all the insulation so this one right here doesn't mess up any more of the insulation domino are you going to get a shovel are you going to clean up your mess probably not huh all right guys i'm excited to be feeling better and have my energy back so let's have a productive day. Let's get after it. He also ripped the little seal off the bottom of the door, which I'm going to end up having to fix before it's over with as well.
All right, I got quite a bit of the rock moved out of here. I still got quite a bit in here piled up, but it's looking like it's a lot deeper than the width of the pavers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by the door right here and I'm gonna try to get it to pretty close to the bottom of the door right there. And I'll use some of the rock to kind of level in and pack down up underneath the pavers and then start working my way there and remove what rock I need to move. But that way I don't take too much out to start with. I think that's gonna be my best plan here. All right, let's go ahead and grab Uber and uh, take it over there and start loading up the pavers. I'm gonna leave the rock in here for now, uh, just in case I need some of it. Whew, making some progress though, making some progress. Let's go get some pavers. I will tell you, I have not been impressed with the pavers that I got from Lowe's. As you can see, they're very weak. There's cracks all in them. And these are all the ones that we found when we was doing the patio well shed. I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough to finish this project. I will be taking those back though to Lowe's because they're a couple dollars a piece and that's a lot of wasted money right there. All right, let's get them back over there.
right, we got the first run at the door. Now we'll start working our way all the way across here to see how many that we're gonna need. And then we'll start filling in towards the door. Cause right here is where the shelves are gonna be. So I need to at least get these two right here ran. These I can always pick up later. That way the project doesn't have to stop. I think this is going to work out pretty good. I'm going to have to have a cut piece right there. Lay the block, lay the block, lay the block. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I've quite got my energy level back. This is definitely wearing me out faster than I was expecting. But we're gonna keep chipping away at it.
All right, guys, we got it done. Probably going to never have to get some smaller papers to put right there. But for right now, I just filled it in with rock. I used one of the broke ones to go right around there. Because it really doesn't matter around this. This is, I want this rock. So it worked out where it don't look too bad. This is just to give me a flat surface to be able to put the shelving and stuff over here for the out for the kitchen. And to be able to have a flat space to stand while I'm cooking up some groceries. But I don't think I'm a back to 100% yet because that right there definitely wore me out. So I'm going to unload the rock right here back there by the patio well shed and go ahead and call it a day and we'll pick back up on this hopefully tomorrow the weather's not supposed to be good but uh we might be able to get some of the stuff done I decided to put the rock in front of the patio well shed. Whew, that was a whole lot of shoveling that came out of that pump house. A lot more than I thought. Next time I get another load of three quarter inch clean, I'm going to put some more up front here just to make a nice transition going into the shed. And eventually I'm gonna end up doing some little lean tos off each side with some rock there to be able to store stuff like the lawnmower and a couple of the other equipment that needs to be up underneath some kind of roof but that'll work for now all right guys i just took a look at the weather and it is not looking good for tonight and tomorrow so i'm gonna go ahead restaple up this tar paper that i got around the eaves right here just as a precaution even though i'm tired don't want to have no energy i'm gonna have to go ahead and push through this we're supposed to have some high winds and also uh yeah snow tonight so we're gonna go ahead and get this closed up real quick i went ahead and got the stapler so now all we got to do is get it done all right all right well that looks a lot better and that definitely makes me feel a little bit better you can see up in the sky that it is already changing quite a bit. It's going to be a rough night here on the mountain. Also, whenever I was over there feeding the goats and Eclipse and the rabbits, I remembered I had a little bit more of that three quarter inch clean over there. So we're going to go ahead and grab Uber and take a couple of scoops over there to finish out the front of the patio well shed.
Whew. All right, guys. Now I got a nice little pad out in the front of the patio well shed here. And the reason why I decided to go ahead and push through and go ahead and get this done today is because I knew I wouldn't be able to get the rest of that rock up without getting a lot of the dirt that was over there as well. And with all of that that's going to come in tonight and start raining and snowing, that'll help wash all that dirt down and pack all of this rock right here. But that's a nice little pad in front of the patio well shed to where I can kind of work on stuff right here because this right here will end up being my tool shed. And then once I get the lean tos off both sides, would rock all the way around. This will look real, real nice. I'm going to have to take this cedar out right here. I'm going to leave the one behind it. I'm going to leave the tree behind it. And I also got to dig up these stumps right here. And also this one right here. Which means that I got to get this backhoe fixed on over here. And see exactly what it's going to take in order to fix this right here. Hopefully this little spigot right here will unscrew and I won't have to replace this whole cylinder. I will not know until I start working on it. All right, now that we got the rocks done in front of the patio well shed, I think I'm gonna go ahead and knock out one more thing before we close this out, guys. The other day, y'all seen at Harbor Freight that I got some tarps and some more bungee straps. I'm going to go ahead and close off the back of the goat and eclipse the closure there and go ahead and put a bale of hay on the ground there. That way they got somewhere to lay and uh, break the wind up a little bit because I believe on Monday we're supposed to be getting like five inches of snow. Do you think you're going to go back in the pen? <laughs> uh, Coco ends up staying in the temporary canopies over there whenever it gets too cold because she won't stay in the pen. Ain't that right, Coco? Are y'all ready? Yeah? Y'all are over here eating? As you can see, the whole back of this is open. And in the front, I just got a little small hole I'm going to leave the small hole in the front, but I'm going to close off this whole back end right here. All right, we got the back side closed off. We're gonna take some of those small ones and grab it from the inside and run it around the board for the bottom. 
I basically just ran it all the way to the front. And clipped it on the wire in the front. That way it'll be easy to undo later on. All right, let's go inside. Oh yeah, this is gonna work out great. What do you think, Chanel? Does that work out? But I think this would be a very cozy, cozy area for them. Be able to keep them out the weather. Got a very small opening right here for them to be able to come in and out. And got plenty of hay down here. And it completely blocked off and waterproof. And Chanel says I even got a snack. Come here, Eclipse. Come here. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? You gonna like it? You probably won't even go in there, huh? You like the cold snow. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Look. Look, Eclipse. Look. Look. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? You gonna get me all wet, huh? You like your new comfortable bed? You're dirty. You're dirty. All right, guys, we got the animals situated. The rabbits are all closed in. They got hay in their pen as well. Got a big old Craftmatic adjustable bed right here for the goats now and Eclipse. Uh, before the snowstorm comes, I'm gonna put Coco inside the pen. Hopefully she'll stay during the winter storm. If not, she'll get out and go to the temporary sheds over there. But I think this right here is gonna work out pretty good. The clip seems to think so. Icy's wondering what happened to her entrance. Let's clean up the mess, guys. What do you think about it, Chief? You like it? You done got the water all dirty, Eclipse. Come on. Alright, we'll see how long Coco decides to stay in there. We're going to go ahead and put her in there. Look guys, they're already in there playing. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this one. I got the animals situated for the big storm that's coming, the rain and the snow. Midnight, we'll be hanging out in the cabin. And Domino will be hanging out 
in the tiny house. Are you ready? You want to say bye? Say bye. You want to say bye? But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Until we see each other again, come on. Let's go on another adventure.